Salutations, my fellow Americans, and thank you for rejoining me here in Kaiserreich playing as the United States of America. So last time, we did go to war with the Third International, which is slowly beating up on the Russians, or the Moscow Accord. We took out Mexico. The Entente's looking pretty nice for now. Uh, the, Ant the rest of the Entente is actually at war with Japan. And I wanted to show you this, that India is losing against Japan, probably because Japan does not have that many people probably to fight against right now, really. Just the Entente. Which I'm not getting involved because I'll kill Japan off on my own later on. We invaded Italy last time. We had a pretty good time. But a couple comments include... Um, annex all of the Americas. Yeah, why not? We'll see what happens. Let's see how far we get. I am totally okay with annexing all of this. Totally fine. Right now we do need to save up on guns and artillery. And light tanks. A little bit of medium tanks. But that's okay. Uh, we invaded Italy, like I said earlier. And I've actually piled drive to the impassable train up here. So, kind of cool. Actually, let me see. We still have logistics. No, no logistics yet. Field hospitals. I'm not going to take those off, those guys. I'll take them off of the 40 combat with probably, but other than that, that's probably okay. Uh, another comment was, stop making so many goddamn ship designs. I don't have that many. No, I have four. I'm going to get to five. So we have, basically, I think it was a 3-1-1 one, one type of deal for the Navy. So three means three capital ships. Carriers, and then maybe battleship, battle cruiser, or in this case, it's a carrier, battle, ship... And a Dreadnought, or Super Heavy Battleship, if you want to think, it, think of it like that. It's just three. One screen, always just one screen. Light Cruisers, easy. And the last one, one, is like submarines if you want them. But anyways, we have a focus to do right now. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do? And reconstruction. Farming subsidies? Sure. It's necessary to subsidize farms for crops that we are in need of. And paying farmers to terminate their fields of lost assets for products like tobacco we don't need to have or need right now. But we want the skilled labor to still be available. So, right now, I've decided to attack this little cavalry division, which we are going to push out. Push out of here just a little bit. I'm sending more divisions to Italy, which would be a good thing. And supplies starting to look not great around here. Not great. Let's see. So, we need so many more guns. Interwar armored cards would be nice to make as well. Yeah. We need to make more military factories, which we're sort of doing. So, we do need, like, air bases, refineries, infrastructure. Still good stuff like that. But we'll see. And I do want to take that airbase, that's why I spread out just a little bit more here. We definitely needed another airbase, so I'll do that. And to limit their air power in France, so that we can have some air power. So my lofty goal, I have a lofty goal for this episode, is for us to... Ooh, that's not good. Take out... Actually, you guys could probably... You might be able to just go ahead and go to Pound Town with these guys. Maybe not. 49. Uh, I was hoping you might be... Well, I mean, if you only have one division going that way, then yeah, that makes sense. Uh, take out the third international. That's my goal in this episode. Just completely take out the entire uh, faction here. Oh, don't do that. I'm trying to stretch out a little bit further. Go ahead and come here. Have you guys come here. We're going to take another port if we can. Get up to Nice. See what you can do. Nope, not getting involved. Alright, you guys are doing not great, but not terrible either. Moving up. This is nice. This is very nice. Oh, they're coming back through here. That's not good. You guys are over here. Really, do we we need to cut this area off. That is the most important thing right now. <sighs> okay, you guys can stop moving that way. I need you to hold so you don't get encircled or destroyed. So, that'd be nice. Not getting destroyed is always nice. Uh, I definitely want to cut these guys off here, though. Once these guys move through here, we might be able to push up through there. That would probably be very, very important to do. Cool. But yeah, I really want to go to the 3rd International. Oh, no, we lost this. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Why did you lose that? I want Nice. Get to Nice. Keep one guy here. Hang out. That's all you need to do. I, I'd rather have the port than the air base. Good. Please, stop moving your divisions around like it's craziness. Uh, hey, we push up here, though. It's not bad. We really need to push over there, though. Oh, stop, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. We don't have enough divisions for this right now. I am sending more divisions over, like I said, but come on, man. Go in here and circle them all. There you go. Now, you guys. Your goal is this little sector. Gonna move out. Good, Edwin. Good. Erwin, Edwin. Oh, and the French, the sand French people are having a few issues. And we've dispersed industry, which is going to help us out get more artillery and guns and stuff like that. 
Good stuff. Uh, let's see, 140. We'll go with 141 streamline line. That seems good. Hey, actually, we're connected down here. That's actually pretty good. These guys are completely encircled, which is awesome. As well. Come on. Good, good, good. Uh, guys, move around. You have to hold for now. I'm not going to let you move. Can't afford it. Because our divisions need to get down here quickly. More quickly. You know what? You guys just go ahead. Just get in here. Don't waste my time. Take them on. Nice. Good, we got it. Now they should capitulate at this point. We've taken Venice, we've taken Rome, we've taken Milan. There they go. Now that is nice. That is amazingness. Good job, guys. Good job. I don't know why Dominion of India got all this stuff, but whatever. Whatever. Alright, take it so then we don't have to worry about it at all. And we can keep moving another direction. Doing a little bit on artillery, a little bit on guns, hopefully. Edwin, you did a great job thus far. Uh, Hubner, you're over there. I don't know why I sent you guys. Wow, there's a lot of a lot of things going on here. We'll deal with that soon enough. I'm not really too worried about it. Brazil's still a mess. That's fine. You guys... Actually, you guys are down here. Still trying to get up there. You guys are home still. Just fine. A couple more light cruisers. Thank you. Definitely always welcome. I always welcome a lot of light cruisers into my heart. Uh, if that's the case, these guys are looking pretty weak. We might just be able to go. You guys? Well, they're not a lot of you. But you might be able to go as well. We have light tanks down here in Casablanca, which is great. We could send them to Europe, but we probably really don't need them yet. No, India, no. You, got, you, you created this mess. I'm not getting involved. <clears throat> oh, production electrification program. In order to accommodate the mandatory third rail, as well as ensure the safety of the more remote parts of America, an electrification project is approved across all state lines. Congress is now pulling state governments to fund transformers and hydroelectric power, as it is their responsibility. Good. Break, breach, breach, breach into France. Or normal France. Now, I'm not sure what the peace is going to be like, because I do want to take some territory from the third international. It doesn't make sense for us to not do that. Uh, that being said, though, I will give, like, you know, the British Isles to the Canadians, which we will have to invade once again, once we go to war with the Entente, which was my plan. Uh, we will also have to invade Fr San France again, or just normal France, but that shouldn't be too bad, especially if we can invade Portugal to down here. I'm not going to expect a ton of resistance, since France probably won't be in a great position to fight, especially since they're fighting <laughs> the Confederation down here. How much manpower do they have? Oh, they got a decent amount. They're on all adult serve, though, so... Not a lot of divisions, not near as many divisions as we can make, so that's a good thing. Less than a thousand artillery pieces needed, great. Where are you guys? Oh, you're, you're here, great. Focus on the southern part of France. Wow, that is some sir. Oh my, you see this? That is some sir. It's paused. Wow. Uh, I'm pretty sure I clicked on this. Wow, holy cow. Thank you. Please don't do that again. If you guys can, just mow them down. Mow them down. A soft, weak French underbelly. Thank you. And they'll invade the Union of Britain. Who else is a major power in this? Oh, Austria is, which will be fine. Once France falls, it'll be easy getting Austria. Serbia. Okay. Of course, Mexico's already capitulated. The Pentagon is finished. With the final wing finally finished, the War Department an agent was killed. No! Uh, was finally found its own home, and the building of now sports a reinforced concrete structure using 680,000 tons of sand dredged from the Potomac River in Indiana limestone. Ooh, look at that. Uh, the uh, research for the building's facade. It occupies 28.7 acres, and includes an addition of 5.1 acres as a central courtyard, with the hallways being so large that messengers are being issued with roller skates and bikes to speed up messaging between offices. Well, our national defense better be assured from now on. Just make sure you don't fly a plane into it. Oops. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty darn good down here. You know, at this point, you guys come to France, too. Construction 5. Uh, just get extraction. We could probably use it, honestly. Because we always need to get more rubber. We always need more chromium. Always, always, always need stuff. Cool. Without the Americans here, I'm not really sure that the Entente could really take it out to France like this. Then again, it does help that they're fighting the Russians. Cool. Artillery's doing better. Guns really aren't... No, they're doing a little better. 
Dreadnoughts, please hurry up. Any other ships? Yes, another ship. Uh, light cruisers. Cool. How many capital ships do we have? We have four. Actually, that's pretty good. That's actually a pretty good template, especially with that la last light cruiser coming in here. So, uh, a capital ship should always get four screens. It's, some people say three. I usually say four, just to be safe. Uh, I could probably use more screens on the first task force here, though. Yeah. We need at least 40, and we definitely don't have 40 for that. It's fine. Alright, so you guys are over here. We can't have you fight. Fall of Beijing. Oh, boy. Oh, did the tanks arrive? Yes, they have. Good. Spearhead the fight into here. Oh, God. Just get to Bordeaux. That's all I care about. Now, we don't have enough light tanks yet for them, but that's fine. I can't imagine the French commune having that much more resources to really spare against us as well as the Russians. 13,000 manpower on scraping the barrel, that's what I thought. You guys just go ahead. Just go right on ahead. Plane wise, we could probably use more fighters. If we have fighters, I should probably double check how many fighters we have. I wish fighters weren't at the bottom though, because they're one of the most important planes to use. Go right there. We're filled up there. Well, that's the case. 800 there. Cool. There you go. Uh, I'll just throw you there because you're already in action. That'll be fine. Tons of planes. Tons and tons and tons and tons of, tons of planes. Could have cost quite a few casualties to do this, but that's okay. And there goes India. Now that's a nice, bright Japan. Quite bright. It's probably going to be a pain in the butt to kill them off. That's okay. We'll figure it out a way. Tanks, you're rolling through. Yes, you are. Uh, quite a beautiful thing. Oh, and Trab was eliminated. Very good. Anything here? War propaganda. We don't need that. We just need more stability, really. And we've almost completed an electrification plan. Great. Now oh, the Irish are there, huh? Cool. And now oil production. The oil fields of the Midwest burned as our country was fighting. We must control the fires. Stop future sabotages and invest in synthetic oil to ensure that more of the country can make use of vehicles. Yes. Keep them in place for now. The tanks will help out. Well, please come to board. Uh, come, come this way. Just go, no, no, don't even bother about it. Just cut these guys off first. That'll be important. They just slow going. Even though we're actually... We're already at almost Strasbourg. Or Strasbourg. Wow. Oh, yes. Another spy. Margaret. Hello, Margaret. Hope you're having a good day. Just don't die on the job like everyone else. Bordeaux, please. Even though you're, we're about to get in Bordeaux, but whatever. Once France falls, it's, it's all over. Oh, look at that. Uh oh, that's not good. That's a convoy. Well, at this point, I don't think there's really too much of a point for us to hang out here. Probably. So, as much as I'd love to help them out right there, I really want to come over here. Yeah, do that. Hopefully our ships don't get bombed too much while doing that, but whatever. You know, we'll see what happens. Just cut everyone else in the south while we try to take Bordeaux. That'd be good. Board falls ill. Nope, nope. Where are we? Good. Hey, we actually just took Bordeaux. Great. Because central France, central eastern France, is... We're actually just pushing into Germany, too. Um, we gotta, hold on, we gotta realign this, though. So, you guys hold. Like, you guys just do this. You guys are down here, which is great. But, uh, you guys do that. Um, you guys are fine, you guys are fine, you guys are over there. I'm actually gonna put you over here, then. Because if that's the case, I'm actually gonna do this. Finally, a normal front line. Even though there's not nearly as many divisions as I would like through this, that's okay. Um, we're going to train infantry. Oh, that's infantry divisions. These are not the best infantry. Five, I don't really care. That's fine enough. Come to Miami, because why not? I can still use those paratroopers, but I don't know. It is what it is. Cool. You guys, go ahead. Do what you have to do. Defend yourselves. Have a good time. You know, normal stuff. Go and kill these guys off. Good. God, I love tanks. Especially, these are 40 combat widths, but they still use some light tanks, which is fine for now. Whatever. Come on. Get in there. You are taking a while, but come on. Uh-oh. There goes Morvasia. 
Hey, we lost it. like two planes. We can exchange for like 12 ships. Hey, look at that. Look at this. Okay, I'm liking it. Military. Ah, oh, we don't have Hawaii, so that's right. Um, okay, well, whatever. Military access? I don't remember asking you for military access, but... Whatever. I'll have to bomb the heck out of Pearl Harbor eventually. Wow. That was a good... That was good. That's very good. Incredibly good, as some might say. Ah, or do you get anything? You're offensive? Well, it doesn't help you too much, because you're a field marshal, technically, but you're acting like a general. But it does give you a little bit more attack as a general, so that's kind of okay. Leslie McNair. Cool. Keep it up. Uh, are, are our guys pushing? I hope not. I just really want the tanks to do what they need to do here. Streamline line, good. Grab more extraction. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice. Save on the factories. Get some more military factories going as well. Oh, look at all this open road we have here. Open road. Oh, yeah. Let's build up more of this part of the Midwest. And then, uh, yeah, Wisconsin too. Been to Wisconsin once, like I said before. So uh, it was kind of dreary when I went up there. Menominee. Been up to Menominee. All right, so the Russians should be doing pretty well, but it doesn't look like they are. Oh, Chechi, Chechi out. Capitulated earlier. Hungary's looking kind of thick now. Huh. Yeah, how many men have we lost? Oh, that's not bad. That's kind of what I expected. 300,000. Versus... Serbia. Coming to France. We've killed off one, a million of them, while the Russians have killed off over 3 million. Okay. Nice. Alright. I don't really want to say go ahead and attack since we're probably out of supplies. Oh my gosh, guns are even worse than before. Go ahead and fix them up first. Yeah, that's why we're doing more military factories. We just have to have them. Oh, how's this looking? Do we have, do we have, oh, we do have supply issues. We only have supply issues in areas that we do not control. If anything, you should give me control of this state, France. The reason why you don't is because you're pieces of garbage. That's why. Like, if anything, you have no justification for being down here. But if you guys can do well, meet their maker. Let them meet their maker, you know? Whatever. Omar Bradley, you're doing a great job. I just wish supply wasn't so bad, even though I know you guys are 40 combat with. Oh. So, reconstruction is over. The years of poor economic management and civil strife have not left our mind, but the most damning effects are diminished. Happy 1944, my friends. This is a year where we will hopefully end the Red Menace. Oh, excavation 5. Good. Grab more rubber just in case. We're going to need it probably in the future. Beautiful. Oh, if we could get tours, that would be so good. Help them out, help them out. And circle, and then we're going to just do a general attack. Malin Craig. Malin, Malin. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we almost got it. Go ahead. Now, we won't be able to win here, I assume, since it's so death stacky here. But so be it, whatever. I can't imagine that they have that much strength, especially if the Russians are pushing a million manpower. South German Federation, huh? How much manpower do they have? Three million? Yeah. Vladimir the, th Vladimir the Third, huh? Sounds kind of familiar to me, at least, regarding uh, <clears throat> a certain campaign. I'm also playing at the same time as this. Oh, look at that. That fleet is getting destroyed by these guys. Oh, they even lost a battleship. You know, that's okay, kind of. Just because when I get involved against the Entente, they'll have, like, no navy, so... Invest in civilian factories, we can trade them away, like normal. Come on, tanks, you're doing a great job. I should probably use more tanks. Hey! I, I knew it. I knew we do that. I knew it. You guys are over there, which is fine. You guys are over there, and you guys are over here. So, it's time for you guys to do this. Hold. Don't die. Come here. Do that. Because now, we're going to do that. Actually, you, you have the Marines... Yeah, we're going to need to use you guys to help punch holes through the line. We're going to take Brussels first. That'll be good. Alright, what's going on? Oh, what do we sink? What, what was sunk? I knew the Commune of France would have capitulated. I knew they would have. Okay, it's lagging very hard. Is there a peace deal going on or something? Maybe someone's getting released in China. Maybe. Maybe that's it. Well, that part of Japan is not looking too bad. 
Maybe? No? Go Prosperity Spear is looking pretty thick. Mighty thick, I'd say. Yeah, get these guys a little bit more organization first. That's good. Hey, look at that. And a small little task force was destroyed. Nine more destroyers were destroyed as well. Great. Uh, Navy. Always good to keep an eye on the Navy. Ooh, another Dreadnought. Uh, how many, uh, I don't want to make this too death stacky, so I'm going to put you over here. Nice. An actual Dreadnought. Jesus Christ. That's so much armor. We couldn't even pierce our own ships. The design? It's not great. It's really not great, but it'll work. And by not great, I mean it's not what I would like the most. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Alright, tanks. You've had enough time. Take Brussels out. You should be able to get Brussels. Just in case. Do we have any planes, air bases around here? Oh, you really don't have that many, huh? Oh, we need to focus on planes in this, uh, this year as well. Good. Throw 200 more on there if you can. Do we have room for any fighters? Oh, we do have some fighters, some form of fighters. Oh, Japan, you want a non-aggression pact? I don't think so, man. I know I could have chosen the other ones, but they'll get up. These guys will get upgraded, so I'm not too worried about it. Good. Keep thinking enemy ships. There can only be one world's navy. America's navy. Hey, we actually took Brussels. Nice. Now, that's the case. Take half. You guys just come here, probably. You can't take the other half and come up there to Antwerp. There you go. A small little encirclement. Go ahead, guys. See what you can do. You probably honestly can't do very much, but that's okay. Whatever. Uh, planes. Yes, Mustangs. Go ahead. Help them out. Destroy them. Well, with all these continuous attacks, we're going to take quite a few casualties, but... They probably don't have enough guns. They don't have enough manpower. I mean, they will. They do currently, but they're running out since they're on all... But on a scrape in the barrel, holy cow. That's that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad, not gonna lie, pretty bad. Yep, military access. The fall of Paris. Flemish Queen Republic. Um Hold on. What what the Why why are you back? Wait, what? Why are they back? Did we give up on the peace deal or something? Okay, is that a glitch? That must be a glitch or something. That's not cool. How did they just get all the territory back? Did you guys give up? No? Uh, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I'm going to let the tanks move ahead so just so that we can make sure that the enemies do not push up against us. But this is why you give me the territory. None of these guys. They don't deserve jack. Take back Paris. Why? For what? what? Is it? I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. And fighting through here is going to be so sucky. Oh, but are we doing well down here against Serbia? Ah, oh, the Russians are. That's good. Come on, Russians. They're taking out half of Hungary now, which is great. Good job, tanks. Good job. Good. Take Paris back. I, I don't know why it's free. Hungarian Social Republic is gone. Good, good, good. We could do that stuff. Let's grab that first. Nope. Paris is gone. Going all the way to Brest. And reconstruction is now finally over. So there's nothing to our love that we can do, which is fine. Uh, let's do military research. So, our national security is threatened by asymmetrical war advancements of technology. We cannot be blindsided by an enemy with some previously unknown weapon of war. We must increase military research and development funding drastically. This all costs money, man. Oh, look at that German government exile. If the Germany comes back, if the German Empire does come back, uh, that's kind of fine, but I'm still taking a good amount of territory for myself, so. We'll allow it, but with some concessions, we'll say. How France came back, I will not understand. Why do we have to get Marseille again? That makes no sense to me, man. Alright. This is dangerous, and this is really, really quite a bad idea. But we're going to have to do this. Um, that's good. Take you guys off. English Channel. Completely blockade all of France. I'd love to come up here too, but we'll see what happens. Uh, we need more fighters, though, in the English Channel, just in case. Oh, 
Actually, that's not true. Uh, you know what? Give me all your fighters. Just literally in the English Channel, because we need them there. So that my, my ships don't get bombed to heck and back. Oh, look how many divisions that are in there. It's not bad. We're slowly still going up through the Netherlands, which is awesome. Oh, we actually sunk two enemy subs. Cool. Guys, move out, move out, move out. Go, 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 go. The game was unfair to us, but there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, I need to get some submarinos. No, it is 44, but still. All right, let's take a look. We need more guns, of course. Artillery's looking better. The light tanks are not looking good. Medium tanks are doing okay, though. If that's the case. I might swap out one of these for medium tanks. That actually might be better for everyone. Let's do that. Let's see. We have plenty of air XP. Don't do that one. That's fine. Um. Hmm. Mm hmm. We're trying to fight over a river while getting pierced. Well. I think that's a better idea to do. Maybe attack him from the butt. That, that might help. Nice. Just keep sinking everything they've got. No fuel goes into France. Oh, the French Republic's coming back. Please don't capitulate, guys. For the love of God, please. I don't know why they came back. That was really disappointing. Hope it doesn't happen again. Just keep holding out until we have this division destroyed, or these divi oh, yeah, they're pretty much all dead now. Good! Good, good, good. Come on, guys, please. Okay, the Batavian com- Something's glitched or something. Why do I keep getting military access to Hawaii? Huh. Don't make sense to me, man. Just don't. Okay, they're gonna capitulate again. What's going on? Get to Leon's? Leon? You guys hold. I want you guys. Why is only Germany guarding this? What the heck, man? You guys hang out up here. Come on, Russia. Keep pushing. Vienna is a frontline city, which is good. And Lyon should fall very soon. Man, you got some chubby little legs. They're not working that fast, huh? How is this going up? Oh, Kruger. Not bad. Well, we've done very... Why does... I swear to God, the French Republic is a bunch of idiots. I mean, that's all they are. I mean, why do they get this territory? That doesn't make any sense. Why? You can't... You can't do this. You can't, like, hold on to this territory at all. What? I don't want this. Well, at least they gave us this. If we build up infrastructure here, it would be nice. But still, I mean... Come on, man. What the heck? If you're not, if you're literally not f even fighting down here, like, what's the point? Why do I have to do this for you? Because you seem to be getting the territory. How many hundreds of thousands of soldiers do we have down there compared to France? Too many. Yeah, at the end of this, I'm going to take a little piece of French soil when I'm done here. Yeah, I mean, they owe a, the French owe the Americans way too much. Holy cow! Yeah, let's just taking all those Brazilian convoys. That's kind of nice. Yeah, no, France, you're going to be kind of a rump state under probably Canada or the UK by the time we're done here. Go ahead if you can. Just go ahead. You guys, looking pretty decent. We've taken probably half a million casualties. A little less than that. That's not bad. Serbia, please fall. Austria should fall soon enough. And then we'll really focus on the Union of Britain and starve them out. I will starve them out. Ah, uh, military research. How about the GI Bill? Young men have a variety of motivations for going to war. The GI Bill will hopefully encompass these or those motivators that patriotism cannot reach. Great, more research speed. Modernize our guns, sport artillery, tanks. I'm gonna go with tanks. I think that'd be good. Since we still need to get the next level of tanks, modern tanks, which would be good, good, good to grab. No upgrades there, no upgrades, no upgrades, it's fine. You guys are doing great. Yep, they're collapsing. At least on the continent. That's one big old Rom Romanian boy right there. Wow. Excavation 4, not bad. Still getting that stuff. Better artillery first. Hit him just slightly harder. That'd be good. Egypt looking pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Sudan's looking pretty Su Sudanese. Uh, 
Is the Union burning like out of ships or something? What's going on? Oh, they're out of manpower. They're out of fuel. That's why. They're out of fuel. They have no manpower. The North German Union is gone. Thank good. Thank God for that. They still have a pretty good fleet. Not bad. Not great. But it's pretty good. Um, but they have no fuel. So if they put it in the sea, it just dies. Which is a good thing. Harding can have the soldier still. Keep moving in, guys. Ooh, that front line's not looking very good. Yeah, this is a mess. Go right on ahead. Have a good time. Tanks, I'm gonna send you north. Good. Very, very good. <laughs> Maybe we'll take out Denmark. There we go. We shall have the Danes under us eventually. Follow us. Oh! This is why you don't go to war with Japan early. Oh god, I do not want to take out the Australasian Confederation later on. Which we won't have to since the UK will be restored, so. Come on, guys, keep it up. Come on, tanks, you're doing a great job. You guys down here. You must help push now, too. Even though, you know what? You're not going to. Come over here. You, you have to help navally invade. If they have no fuel, that means they can't get any planes. And if they can't get any planes, then our planes will dominate. Shadborg. Right there. Cut Dover off. Wait, what? What? Why did you take... Why did you take that off, game? What the heck? Fine, I'll go from somewhere else. Dunkirk sounds good. Good. Like a nice place of time this year. I don't know. Mm, don't want to go from Brest. Bruges? We can do something like that. You guys come to Antwerp. Well, all I can say is I'm glad I'm not the one doing resistance stuff here. Ah, oh, good. More divisions. There you go. Put them right there. That'll be good. Alright. Get rid of those guys. That's fine. German government in exile. Hmm. Come on, guys. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Oh, boy. Here comes a naval battle. Now, this is a big old coalition task force against the Union of Britain. Oh, yeah. No fuel? Oh, my God. We're sinking them. Oh, my goodness. We're not even taking that many hits, either. Oh, my gosh. That was so cool. Look at that. We lost six carrier planes in exchange for a dreadnought, two armored cruisers, 11 light cruisers, seven destroyers, and like almost 40 planes. No, almost 40 planes and a convoy. South German Union is gone now. Now that was a naval battle worth talking about. Nope. So use way more guns. Artillery is doing well, though. Artillery is doing very, very well. Light tanks. I could always use more light tanks for some reason. Alright, soldiers are getting up there, which is good. At least we hope so. Not bad. This is what I kind of figured what would happen. So, Keep going, guys. Why, why are you giving up? There's no stops on this crazy train. Hey, Canada's actually invaded Scotland. Okay-ish. Or Northern England. One of those two. Pretty close. Hey. Oh, they lost 20 planes? Nice. Alright, GI Bill. Uh, I'll go through you here this time. Alright, instead of this, completely surround the islands. Starve them out. Cool. Liberty Bonds? Sure. Funding the war effort will require more than victory gardens. More than victory gardens and volunteerism. Liquid assets are in short supply, especially with our economic programs ongoing. We can cap capitalize on public trust and implement war bonds as most other free nations do. But do we have to pay those back? Well, they're bonds, so. Probably. Someday. But we'll let our kids figure that out. We'll charge them the bill. And that'll be okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, completely surrounded, I see. I'll put them in London. Put them right there. Put them right there. That'll be fine. 
That'll be good. Nice. Level 6, not level 7 yet. Ah, oh, now it's a pure tactician. Good. Very good. Man, you guys take forever. Come on, go a little faster. Go, just go a little faster. Yeah, these guys are definitely holding out for the last thing. Even if Denmark is gone. Good, good, good. Good job, guys. You know what? If we need it, I will send you across the ocean as well. But it seems like they're really death stacking here, so come to effort. Forget about this stuff. The Russians can deal with that. We might lose the Austrians, but whatever. Let's see what happens. Are you guys up? Oh my gosh, you are so slow. Why? I know these lands suck, but come on. <laughs> and Canada was kicked out again. Of course they were. Oh, what else is new? These better tanks. Drop your organization and go, go, go! Oh my god. Why, why are you so slow? Like, I can run faster than you then. Like 2.4 kilometers? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, it's part of the problem is the game is so laggy and the infrastructure isn't very good around here. I doubt there's... Well, there is some resistance. Actually, French Republic. Navy's not terrible. They have a little bit of manpower on old, old serve. I was so researching. No, we're not. That's good. You know what? If that's the case. I should have said you guys go. Andy and popular. Oh, nice. Wait, I don't. I don't remember asking you guys that for that again. What the heck? <laughs> Game. I guess you could try to take Portsmouth since you're already here. Might as well, right? All right. So you guys did a great job down here. <sighs> Canada, get out of my way, Canada! Please get out of my way. Because I'm, I'm, I will annex all these nations down here, so. That was another comment from yesterday's video. Just just annex everything. And I, I plan on it, I'll be honest. I completely plan on it, so. Alright. Since these are fighter threes. There you go. Make them great. Make them stupendous. Great. Alright, are you finally ready to go? It looks like it. Go ahead. Oh, they invaded there too. Wow! You have Brazilians defending Dover? They seem kind of weak over here. And we like them weak. Come on, land, land, land. Liberty Bonds? I love Liberty Bonds! New tank assemblies? Sure! Armored Warfare will change the face of the battlefield forever. We cannot sit idly as the world reams or rearms, and with a tank, oh look at that, we may be able to beat our enemies in a matter of weeks instead of years. As such, it would be a priority for us to build more of these deadly machines so that we may be ready for a fight to fight for freedom, not only in America, but on the whole world. Yes, yes, for freedom. Good, we cut them off completely. It was great. And then we'll get our cipher ready to go to. Empire Japan we're still doing, which is fine. Okay, oh, okay, okay, Austria's gone, which is awesome. You guys, up out over here. If we can land those soldiers, that'd be great. They're so weak. Why are they so incredibly weak? One line, friends, one line. Honestly, you guys just go right on ahead. Just go, 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 go. I really doubt that they could beat you. The fall of London, great. You guys down here, uh, we could probably help out here, maybe? Probably, yeah. You guys did awesome. Uh, there's a single division there, and they're all gonna die. Glorious. So we met halfway in Germany. Honestly, the, the Russians don't deserve any of Germany, really. They might, they, they deserve Austria, but other than that, I mean. We'll see what happens with the PCO. It's going to be a messy PCO, I swear to God. Come back to the French Republic in this part of Germany. It's fine. Destroyers, huh? Good. Naval Bombers. Naval Bomber 3s. Anything else? 
Nope, we finished that other dreadnought over there before, which is good. Yeah. More military factories. We don't have enough yet. Good. Okay, Prussia? Sure, why not? And Arkansas. Love Arkansas. Could use more gem mines in Arkansas, though. I don't want to throw everyone here, but that's okay. Plane wise for interception. The full utilization of force. The aftermath of the Second Civil War has given us time to assess not only the holes in our military capabilities, but potential improvements as well. Our general staff has determined that we can outpace conventional engines based on aeroplanes with a new fuel and th thrust each tech developed by Lawrence Bell. At the same time, we have enough, procured enough engineers and scientists for Nader Meyer's idea for a plutonium gun nuclear weapon. I'm going to go for both. We have the funds or political power for it. We might actually have the real funds for it, but that's okay. Mm, oh, I keep saying I wanted logistics. Now I now I remembered. Mr. Mocha Lover, you're crazy. You're, you're just nuts. I know. And that's why some people like me, some people don't. It is what it is. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's say maybe 400 more fighters, just in case. I mean, we got the fuel for it, so... If we have the planes for it, maybe we don't have the... I really need to focus on the fighters. What is wrong with me? Fighters, yeah. Get a few more if we can. Look, man, I know you want you want help, but can't really afford that right now. Come on over here to Cornwall. Come on, guys. If it wasn't for the Americans, you would be toast. Like seriously. Come on. Oh, look at the, all this territory we're gonna have to annex. It's gonna be great. We got Panama back as well. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. At least you guys are moving pretty pretty speedily, which is good. Invest it all. We got plenty enough political power for now. And we're still only on extensive conscription, which isn't bad. Just build 566 factories is not enough. Apparently it's really not enough. You take assemblies. Uh, let's go with... Create the Women's Army Corps. Despite protests from socially conservative elements in the U.S. Army, the Commander-in-Chief has affirmed defense of the Women's Army Corps. Led by Secretary Department of Health, Oveta Hobby, the WAC has created more than twice the requested number of volunteers. Women's Auxiliary will help maintain and safeguard our weapons of war and keep our massive supply chain working. More resource efficiency getting great. Population Recruitable population factor and division recovery goes up too. Sounds great. A Winchester Project. The project ran into significant problems when it discovered that the nuclear material plutonium has an efficient rate too fast for a bullet. The solution came in the form of depleted uranium, initially planned for a different nuclear project. This makes the weapon barely ethical under normal nuclear waste usage guidelines, and creates the issue of international biological damage from radiation on the target. Nonetheless, the Thin Man is a success. We are safe from Oppenheimer's deadly toy. Albuquerque Project. Bell's X Project has... Proceeded satisfactorily. With a success, uh, successful implementation of rocket technology into planes being able to double the speed of older aircraft. Brave test pilot Jack Woolums today was something. I couldn't tell, but because we just got off the third international. So I'm not gonna do this off screen. This like like all these other videos, they're just gonna be like long because you know I don't want this campaign to last too long, so I'd rather spend more in each video. You know what? Just to safeguard this, I'm taking all of this stuff. The UK won't be able to do very much about this. So Russia. Let's talk about Russia. Russia is a Somewhat nice place, I guess. I don't know. I've never been. You know what? We'll give them all of Serbia as well. Because that only makes sense in my mind, since they did most of that work over there. Serbia. Thank you. Uh, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. We have to manually do it like this. Whatever. Cool. Alright, let's talk about the Americas. I'm taking it all. Finnish. Finland's not in America, usually. Ecuador is definitely here as well. Thank you. Alright, so I'm taking all this. Like, there's no point for anyone else to take it but me. That's how I'm going to get paid for this war. I'll take Brazil. Because even though the Canadians are really fighting the Brazilians, the Canadians have got too much on their plate to do anything about it. Yeah, Brazil, where are you? Oh, Mexico. Um, can I have my Mexico, please? Thank you. Thank you. And after this, I'm leaving the faction. But I told you I did want to take out all of the Americas eventually. So We still haven't forgiven them for taking out and basically stealing New England from us. Bunch of thieves. They can go back to the home little island, but I'm going to reinvade it later on. Nice. Take all states. Thank you. Alright, so we got the North German Union. Socialist Irish Republic. Uh, Turkey. Does Turkey deserve anything? Did they get anything out of this? I don't know about that. Afghanistan. 
Um, Suriname, Prussia. Actually, don't do Prussia. Poland, no. Bulgaria, no. Greece, uh, actually Greece can have this. That makes sense. Let's see. Cyper uh, why does Cyprus exist? Yuck. Australasian. Uh, you know what? Give the Germans some of this German territory back. Which makes it even probably more difficult for us, but whatever. It's fine, it's fine. Fine, fine. Russia. Let's go back to Russia. We can have all of Finland. Cool. Swedish commune. Give that to Russia too, just because, well... It looks better if it was all given to Russia. Good. Laos People's Republic. Hmm. I kind of do want to get involved over there, but is Japan in this? No, they're not. Oh, actually they are. So, you know what? I'm not sure they deserve any of this. But go ahead and take that. That's fine for now. Alright. Uh, Canada. French Republic can have all of France. go. Except for that. Let's see. I think as a good piece deal, I'm going to take over the Benelux. I think the French are just too weak to handle it, as well as the British. They'll just be too weak to handle this. That'll be American for now, which is good. Let's see. Sardinia. Oh, there's Canada. Canada, you can have all the UK. You can get all of Ireland. We could release an independent Ireland, but I don't like lag. We'll see what happens. They might release them. Good. Italy. We're Sardinia. That's probably down below us. Yes, it is. Siam. Venezuela. India. There you go. You can have your little Italian dream. Um. Hmm. One, two, three, four-ish. That's what they got. I'm thinking... I kind of want Austria, but I kind of want to split them up as well. You know what, we'll give it to the Russia. The Russia. So we, we don't have to deal with this later. There you go. That was disgusting. I'm taking Denmark, though. Thank you. Come again. Come again. Told you we'd be able to do this by the end of this episode. Take out the god dang Third International, the Albuquerque Project. Uh, well, today was the first pilot to fly a plane faster than 741 miles per hour, breaking the sound barrier. Great. Well, Dominion of Canada, and time for me to leave. We're no longer at war. Join wars. Um, there should be a way for me to leave. Return of the King. Huh. I'm not seeing it. How do I leave the faction? Unless the French are leading it, but... I'm a member. Uh, let's see. Kinsen volunteers cannot cannot join factions. Only the faction leader, which Dominion of Canada is the leader. I don't know why we can't leave. Because I'm not at war. I'm not going to war with Japan. I mean, I will go to war if we have to. But then after that, I'll probably kill off. If I if I have to, so be it. German Empire's back at least. Well, Wilhelm the Third. Hope you're enjoying your time. Let's see what happens. Sardinia's looking pretty thick. Russian Empire hopefully liberates some people. They released Serbia. That's good. Romania's pretty huge. Uh, Austria. Just straight up Austria's here. Led by Marco Dutman. Cool. Hellcats. Cool. 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 We're done with that stuff. That's good. Close air support. We need that as well. Um, anything else? Carrier Fighter 2s. Carrier Fighter 3s. Nope. Plane wise, got anything else? Um, looks like the Balkans are still okay. Someone's being released, maybe? Hungary might be there. Couple more ships, couple more screens, good. No, 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 not yet. We have Ireland. Okay, Ireland was liberated. Interesting. Oh, we could give that some of that Swiss territory back as well, but I don't know about that. M25, great. Uh, anything here we really care about? Not really too much. Maybe some of this would be fine. Only 617 factories. Still not enough. Serbia still looking good. Oh, there's Hungary. Found Hungary. Demobilize? Yeah, I don't think so. 
Return German lands? What German lands? Fate of Belgium. I want one United Benelux. Oh, no, no, no. They're releasing Croatia as... Oh, good God, no. Oh, no. Oh, Swedish Republic is here. Interesting. Ah, oh, Finland's here, too. That's what was released as well. <sighs> there should be an option for us to get rid of the faction. There really should be. Because I, I, I'm not saying. I'm, I refuse to say. I will find a cheat if I have to. I will not stay with the Canadians. There has to be a way for me to leave. We'll go. We'll probably end up going to war with Japan. Then everyone's going to be at peace. And then we'll backstab them. That might be good to do. Cool. Rifle improvements. Well, the M1 Garand managed to see us in the Civil War. Its flaws were as noticeable as it was adopted as they are now. However, with the criticism we have gathered during the Civil War, we have now contacted the original designer, and he has assured us that by redesigning the barrel, gas cylinder, and front sight assembly, we'll make the Garand an even more reliable and deadly weapon. Good. Thank you. Oh, I should have done that stuff a little earlier, but whatever. But, whatever. Anything else? Carry okay, naval bomb three. Restoration of the. Okay, so you guys came out. Request. Okay then. Post war devastation. 19 divisions, a lot of manpower. Navy's not good. It's fine. They won't be able to stand up to America once we sink their navies. Oh, look at divisions. Great. Oh, well, hold on. Hold on. Hold the flipping phone. I forgot about this. Mark. Mark. Good. Now that's looking nice. That's looking real nice. Uh, the German Empire's still down there. That's fine. Uruguay. Can we go to war with you? Must well do that. Cool. Uh, you know what? I guess we'll just end the episode here. I will find a way, maybe... Probably not, but maybe I'll try to find a way to figure out how to get out of this faction. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we will end up probably going to war with the Japanese. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.